Hello and welcome. In the annals of Australian aviation, the names of pioneers such as Bert Hinkler, Charles Kingsford Smith, Norman Brearley and Charles Ulm come to mind. A chap that isn't so well known, but should be, is Patrick Gordon Taylor. He was born in 1896 in Sydney and when a teenager applied to join the Australian Flying Corps. He was rejected. Undeterred, he left for Britain where he was commissioned in the Royal Flying Corps in August 1916, joining No. 66 Squadron Flying Sopwith Pup Scouts. In July 1917, he was awarded the Military Cross and promoted to Captain. In 1919, Taylor returned to Australia. During the 1920s, he worked for de Havilland Aircraft in England, completed an engineering course and studied navigation. He operated a Gypsy Moth seaplane from Sydney Harbour between 1928 to 1932. He then worked for Kingsford Smith and Charles Ong at Australian National Airways. Charles Kingsford Smith chose him to be his co-pilot and navigator on the Fokker Southern Cross on the 1933 and 1934 flights from Australia to New Zealand and return. Kingsford Smith and Taylor completed the first flight from Australia to the United States via Suva and Hawaii in November 1934 in a Lockheed Altair called Lady Southern Cross. On the 15th of May 1935, Taylor was Kingsford Smith navigator in the Southern Cross delivering airmail from Australia to New Zealand. After flying for six hours, the heavily laden aircraft had almost reached halfway when part of the centre engine's exhaust manifold broke off and severely damaged the starboard propeller. Smithy closed down the vibrating starboard engine, applied full power to the other two, turned back to Australia and jettisoned the cargo. The oil pressure on the port engine began to fall alarmingly. The flight appeared doomed. Taylor reacted heroically. Climbing from the cockpit, he edged his way against the strong slipstream along the engine connecting strut and collected oil from the disabled starboard engine in a thermos flask. He then transferred it into the port engine. With assistance from wireless operator John Stanage, he carried out this procedure six times before the aircraft landed safely at Mascot some nine hours later. Taylor plays himself in this reenactment in the 1946 film Smithy, available from the National Film and Sound Archive of Australia. What?
oil. If ever a man deserved a Victoria Cross, that man is Bill Taylor. But he still has to get the oil into the failing port motor. Smithy will have to fly the machine on the centre motor only. flight across the Indian Ocean from Port Hedland in West Australia to Mombasa, Kenya in a consolidated flying boat Guba 2 in June 1939. He ferried flying boats from the US to Australia in 1941 and in 1943 ferried aircraft from Canada across the Atlantic Ocean to the UK. In March 1951, he flew across the South Pacific from Australia to Chile via Tahiti and Easter Island in a Catalina Frigate Bird 2. Between 1954 and 1958, he flew the Sandringham flying boat Frigate Bird 3 from Sydney on Pacific Island cruises. Taylor published eight books relating to his exploits. He was awarded the 1951 Oswald White Gold Medal for his Australia South America flight and the Johnson Memorial Trophy of the Guild of Air Pilots and Air Navigators. Taylor was knighted in 1954 and died in 1966. Today you can see Frigate Bird 2 in the Powerhouse Museum in Sydney and Frigate Bird 3 in the Musée de l'Air à Le Bourget in France. As a pilot and navigator, Taylor was a perfectionist fastidious, demanding, sharp and candid. For me, his feat of climbing out of the fuselage of the Southern Cross as he transferred oil from one engine to another speaks volumes of the man. Just imagine, buffeted by the slipstream as you hold on for dear life with oily hands. Thank you for watching. Liking, subscribing and hitting the notify bell encourages content.